What's up? What's up, guys? It's Wednesday. How you doing? Okay. Check it out. I've been on a rant all week long, and I'm bringing you another one. Get ready. All right, so check it out. Check it out. I've got my braid in tonight. I'm going to tell you why. I've got my fur on. Well, it's fake fur. I'm going to tell you why that too, but I'm channeling something. So before I talk to you about that, you're going to want to stick around specifically if you are an A-type woman or a high-performing woman. You're going to want to check this out. All right. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Jen and I am a high performance mindset and health coach. And I help women generate their own power to really level up their life so they can live an undeniable joy and fulfillment. Yeah. Big statement. I know, but it's possible. I'm going to tell you why I think it's possible for you. And here was a moment that was one of the breakthrough things that have happened to me in my life when I realized what I was doing. And so I'm going to give you a word right now. I'm gonna give you a word right now. It goes with my hair and my and my uh, my fake fur, but I'm gonna give you a word right now. And I want to know, in the comments, I want to know what kind of imagery it brings up for you, what kind of emotion it stirs inside of you. Because if it stirs the same kind of emotion it does for me, then this is gonna be super powerful for you, and you'll want to stick around. Okay, shield maiden is the word. Shield maiden. What does that feel like? Try that on. I'm trying it on right now. <laughs> so feel that. Think about that. Now for me, it brings up an image and a feeling of control and power and strength and sturdiness. Um, it brings up resilience for me, right? It brings up all those things for me. It, it, it might bring up something different for you. And I see a woman who's just grounded and just standing in her resilience and power. And it also brings up other things for me. And it goes all the way back for me. I realized this tonight to like my alter ego I've always had. And this is, I've never said this publicly, only in my groups and my communities, but She-Ra, Princess of Power is my alter ego. So if you're as old as me, you know who that is. So when I was a little girl, the cartoon character She-Ra, just, I was obsessed with her. My birthday cakes were made out of She-Ra. I had a shield and a sword all the time. Like I was always a warrior and I always had a shield. I was always strong for everyone. I was always there for everyone. I was always holding space. I was always sturdy. You could always rely on me, right? I would never falter. I can, with, I can, with, I can endure and withstand. And if you're anything like me, this is going to really, really sit with you in the way that it did with me. Because what happens in that moment? What happens when you realize that the entire trajectory of your life has been about being strong and stable and capable and the perception of every one of you is that and that's your identity? You forget to remember the other part of you. The duality of you. At least I did. Because I was terrified at being considered weak. I was terrified at sharing the vulnerabilities, the femininity, the emotion, because I was literally scared to death to be seen as weak or anything other than perfect or controlled or strong. And I realized that the shield, right, if any light comes through, right? If any light comes through, then someone could truly see me. And it put me in a vulnerable space. And I lost control. And that scared me. So what happened was no one ever saw me. And all I really wanted was someone to protect me, was someone to let me be totally vulnerable and transparent, was someone to hold a shield up for me so I could cry, so I could scream, so I could let out my fear, so I could break down so I could be nurtured. That's all I wanted because I wanted to explore the femininity. I wanted to explore the sensuality. I wanted to explore the parts of me that I was hiding. And until I allowed myself to be free, until I allowed myself to truly understand what I want without having to create that shield all the time, I never really learned how to be happy or fulfilled or be in joy or grow 
or develop that next level of my life. And I don't want that for you. It almost killed me. And I don't say that lightly. It almost did because I built behaviors that were self-deprecating and I was sabotaging myself over and over again. I was stopping myself. I was creating you know, these expectations that were literally killing me in order to continue to hold up that shield. And so what I want to tell you right now is you don't have to hold the shield. You can create a community around you and you can rely on other women that can hold the shield for you. And I've created that. I've created a safe space for that. That you can let your shield down. And you can develop, you can remember, you can rediscover all those parts of you. The duality of who we are as women. We get to have both. We can hold our shield and we can also nurture all that feminine and that femininity inside of us. And we can also have a safe space to be vulnerable and express ourselves. We can have both. It's an and world. So if you guys want to join me, I'm doing a 10-day um, challenge that helps you rediscover that with a community of supportive women that are, that are ready to let their shields down too. So if you want to join me, um, you can join me in the comments below. And if you want to bring a friend, please do, because it's more fun when there's friends. <laughs> All right, you guys, I hope to see you there. And we start on Monday. So I'll see you soon.